Hello traders, uh, I'm Orlando for Tradimo and welcome to this week's uh, weekly market recap. Uh, remember that uh, if you like this kind of um, uh, well, this kind of content, I upload videos every single day. Uh, just make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, to hit the notification bell. All right. Now, uh, we'll start by looking at the DXY. Well, the DXY or the US dollar currency index is on a wild ride. As you can see, uh, we are in a very bullish uh, structure, the structure marked by these uh, parallel um, magenta lines. Okay. Now, uh, for the past two weeks, we have been on a, an incredible bull run after we started trading inside of this flag and we broke out to test the highs at around the 98.85 level. All right, the 98.85 level were the highs. And when we hit these highs, I don't know if you remember correctly, but, uh, President Trump tweeted that he was going to impose um, new tariffs to China's products. And then, boom, we had this uh, very big um, move to the downside. Also, non farm payrolls, uh, the employment um, growth, um, well, um, uh, we had bad uh, uh, NFPs, uh, the employment growth. Uh, uh, was less than expected and the salary wages didn't grow at all so basically we uh, are uh, we were testing this level the 98 between the 98 and then and the 98 20 level this was the make it or break it level for the dxy um, but as you can see we broke down and now we are heading to test these highs the previous highs and then uh, uh, if we break with those highs, we might test this entire zone, all right? This is a very big zone of support. So what I'm expecting is, uh, expecting, I'm sorry, is a, br a break below to test that 97.50 level, maybe for a potential continuation of the bullish move. Now, that, that is what uh, uh, I'm expecting. Now, let's put on some Fibonacci retracement levels to see where we are uh, at those levels. Now, if we if we uh, grab the last move up, I'm sorry, <laughs> I have to click here. The last move up, meaning that I'm going to be calculating the Fibonacci retracement levels from, um, from this move only, from this low to this high. This is the only the Fibonacci levels that I'm going to be looking at. Of course, I am going to be looking at the entire move to the upside Fibonacci retracement levels to see if we have some kind of Fibonacci clusters around the um, the uh, 9750 level. All right, so uh, let's see what we have here. Let's open the Fibonacci um, uh, retracement levels and let's have a 50. And we are right there at the 50% retracement of the. Um, entire move uh, no i'm sorry of the last move up so this zone right here this zone right here should and would be to in my eyes uh where buyers are going to be standing at between the 50 and 61 8 percent retracement and this very 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 big zone of support at the 97.50 all right so again this is what i'm going to be looking for i'm going to be looking for a continuation to a downside then a continuation to the upside for the DXY. And uh, if you want this kind of analysis every single day, uh, we do have a premium community where I share all my analysis, all my trade ideas, uh, and uh, well, my views on global macro trends um, every single day with my premium subscribers. And I have a great offer for you uh, on the link below this video, I will give you 50% off the first month so you can try us out. All right, everybody, uh, let's take a look at gold. And uh, well, gold is still inside this kind of b uh, bullish structure. We are making higher highs and higher lows inside of this uh, uh, not very steep channel. And uh, but the thing that I wanted to show you guys is this. This is very important. All right. We are we are still extremely, extremely bullish on gold and uh, will be unless uh, unless uh, we uh, break with the 1380. This level right here, the 1380 is our, our bullish bearish uh, uh, barrier or frontier. Uh, and uh, until we uh start uh, on the west uh, until gold so, uh, trades above uh, below it we are not going to be changing our bias and remember that we are uh we bought gold here um last uh last uh, week and we took our first profits right here we took two-thirds of our trade off right here and uh, we move stops to break even and the reason that we move stops to break even and the reason we are not going to be moving stops um uh, 
a higher is because we haven't made a significant low yet all right in the move and uh, the main reason also is this zone right here all right this zone right here is a very important area of uh, resistance now it turned support but we, we haven't tested it yet so that's uh, the main reason that uh, we need to make a considerable low for a move higher and this point of control the volume profile which is this histogram right here is is calculating the volume of uh, the entire uh, well or, or is calculating the vol the entire volume of uh, the um, of uh, of what has been traded above the 1337 okay and uh, the red line this line right here is the point of control the point of control is the actual level where the most volume has been traded and you can see that it confluences perfectly with this zone of resistance well now turn support of course but this zone of resistance you can see how many times buyers try to jump in i mean try to um, swipe those uh, sell orders and break above but weren't able to so uh, there's nothing much uh, to say on um about gold but that uh it's completely uh um um uh trading inside of this of, of this channel and perfectly testing it again and again so now that we are testing the high of the channel right here i could consider um uh well not consider but i see the possibility um uh, it's better say it that way that uh, we might have a pullback and then a move higher and this is, uh, I mean, there, there's really not too much to say about gold, gold I'm sorry, but uh, we are going to be looking for a possible uh, buy scenario around these levels right here, around the uh, 1428. And again, um, uh, the trade ideas that I'm talking about uh, are shared. Uh, every single one of them is shared on the premium uh, on, on trading most premium community so if you want to jump in just go ahead and click the link on under this video we have a great offer for you guys for for uh, for you to be able to test drive us for a month all right uh, let's talk about the euro versus the USD right now uh, and uh, the euro versus the US dollar was or is actually in a very interesting zone um, but let's start by um, taking a look what has happened up, up until now, right? Uh, when, uh, uh, well, when we uh, hit this zone uh, right here, uh, around the um, 1120 zone, which is a great area of support, a lot of buyers jumped in, okay? We were one of those uh, buyers that jumped in uh, on technicals, um, uh, but sadly, the... Um, um, the uh, the price on the euro versus the US dollar just dropped to the lows at around the 10, uh, 25 level. Now, having said that, why don't we go and uh, zoom in on the chart because uh, uh, what's important is where the where the euro versus the US dollar is trading right now or trading at the moment. Okay, we are still in a very bearish move, bearish structure or bearish uh, sentiment in the euro versus the US dollar. But what's important to point out, guys, is this. Uh, after this big move down to the uh, 1025 level, there, I mean, there has been uh, this bullishness to retest this, um, uh, well, these levels again. And, uh, well, not only that, but um, earlier this morning, I was looking at uh, the euro versus the US dollar when it was trading at around these levels, okay? So, uh, and, it's, and, and it seems that uh, there could have been the possibility for a continuation lower, meaning that uh, after the test of the lows, we were going to test the broken level and continue to the downside. That, that looked like a very juicy trade, so I put on my uh, pending orders, uh, below the daily the the daily lows and uh, well we didn't get triggered and that's why I use spending orders because uh, uh, I don't like uh, going um, uh, well uh, entering at market unless my levels are are justified or my trade idea is justified by uh, the break of my confi uh, of my um, justification levels so we didn't get um, we didn't get um, uh, filled, we deleted and we deleted that order uh, because that trade idea is not valid because we made higher highs on the day. And right now we are testing this level right here. Okay, now uh, that's uh, not only important because this is the level that uh, 
sellers jumped in when uh, we finally broke with the uh, with the 1120 level, uh, meaning that uh, sellers jumped in the market right here and then pushed price to the lows at uh, the 1020 level. Uh, finally, breaking with this level that uh, that that sellers had had difficulty in the past uh, breaking with. Uh, not only that, but if you look at uh, the volume profile, this histogram right here, you can see that, uh, well, this histogram is calculating the levels or the volume uh, on the different levels of this entire move to the downside, all right? And this is important because I want to see where, where uh, real sellers jumped into the market, all right? Where, where the real battle was uh, being held. And uh, you can see by the point of control, the, uh, the red uh, line coming out of uh, the histogram that this is the level where the most volume has been traded in the past and in this entire move to the downside okay so right now we are testing not only a big level that broke all right this big level right here that broke which is uh, the 1160 Logi just let me put on the correct coordinates on my line because it's important to have the correct levels uh, on your charts the 1160 level right there um, not only we're going to be testing that 1180 uh, that 1160 level but also that high volume zone so um, I'm still going to be looking for shorts unless we actually break unless we actually break above and retest for a retest uh, maybe of this broken level or a uh, final bullish continuation in the euro US dollar making making this the low of the move to the downside but I mean uh, the possibilities are endless but what I'm going to be looking for are key levels and all that you know guys whenever and if I take a trade and again if you like this kind of analysis um, just uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell until tomorrow uh, this has been Orlando for Trading Room.